Steve Hartman's on the road on assignment this week, so we decided to end with something you don't see very often. That is a cougar in Griffith Park in Los Angeles beneath the Hollywood sign, an image that will appear in next month's National Geographic. Cougars are nocturnal and seldom seen, so how did they get that picture? Chip Reed introduces us to the man behind the lens. National Geographic photographer Steve Winter has spent most of his adult life shooting just about every kind of wild cat on the planet. These are just so incredibly cute. Yet he maintains a childlike enthusiasm, even at New York's Central Park Zoo, watching the baby snow leopards. They like playing on these rocks. They're learning how to hunt. Snow leopards were winter's ticket to fame. Plenty of photographers used remotely triggered cameras. OK, let's put the caps on. But in 2008, winter went further adding elaborate and creative lighting designs, even in the brutal 15,000-foot cold of the Himalayas. He captured the first intimate portraits of the world's most elusive cat. You're kind of creating your own photography studio out in the middle of nowhere. Correct. I set up the lighting for a stage, and I just wait for the actor to walk on. And there he is. He's going to mark on this rock with the scent gland to tell other males, this is my territory, not yours. Or females, this is my territory, why don't you come over sometime? The cougar shot, talk about your wild Hollywood nightlife, took 14 months to get, and along the way snared a menagerie of urban wildlife. Burning batteries. Winter uses every trick in the book and occasionally invents new ones. You want to get this intimate view so you're part of their world. I need something people haven't seen before. I need something where they go, wow. With just 3,200 tigers left in the wild, Winter's become an advocate. His new book will help explain why they're disappearing. But it goes back to the viewer. Do you value a tiger walking the face of this earth? And if you do, let's get involved. Of all Winter's hundreds of thousands of images, this one brought him to tears. Mother and cub almost asking that very question. What is the value of tigers walking the face of the earth? Chip Reed, CBS News, New York. Wow, that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News, all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley.